Go ahead. Just so you guys know, speaking is the legendary badass motherfucking snow. It's August 9th, 2021. And I'm speaking. This call is being recorded. Providence of the writer movement. I'm over here right now. Los Angeles County Jail, high power, video escort, sergeant escort. I'm speaking on behalf of all providence of the writer movement. And I'm speaking to Congress perspective as well as Gunners Collective. I already had two discussions with those gentlemen. Number one, <clears throat> any fake news, any false propaganda that has been expressed on those platforms will be taken down. I want to express my appreciation to Mr. Rojo for taking down the fake news regarding me being sentenced to life. Yes, I did get convicted for conspiracy to commit murder on this known rat by the name of Alexander Diaz, the piece of shit imposter and had absolutely nothing to do with the founding of my glorious movement. Now, I'm going to have Compadres meeting with you gentlemen. And what we're going to present is never before seen, never before conveyed. I'm going to provide the Northenia Rider Declaration. The Northenia Rider Declaration was written and it was expressed on August 23rd of the year 1999. Many people have written false NRDs and they called it the Northern Rider Declaration. There's no such thing. The Nathaniel Ryder Declaration went from 1999 and was abolished in 2007 when, when I, while I was in High Desert State Prison. You guys are going to get never-before-seen paperwork regarding uh, an incident that transpired where, where a, a, a six-foot-four Uso got his throat slit with a box cutter and thrown off the second tier. This is legendary writer, writer stuff, okay? People that are, aren't aware of this because normally I don't, I don't promote this type of shit. Only my people know the real. That's all I give a fuck about is my people. Everything that I've done is for my people. I was put on this earth to create my movement for my people. And I'm telling you like this, man. You want to know about these hands? I'm going to present paperwork showing how officers bars into a house and was putting their hands on women and I stepped forward and I punched this motherfucker so hard that he lost consciousness and flew through a plate glass window. Didn't know where he was at. Woke up five minutes later asking where the fuck they was at. We're going to present that as well. I'm also going to present never before seen Gopave concepts and objectives. And the reason why is because the world can know this. Ain't have no secret. We ain't no fucking secret squirrels, playboy. We riders, playboy. Responsibility, idealism, determination, economy, and responsibility. Okay? We push the essence of realism in all aspects. I'll tell you right now, playboy, I'm right here. Here I am, 22 years later. If that ain't commitment, I don't know what the fuck is, playboy. But I also want to tell you this. I know that the sound of my voice is going to generate viewers. We're going to get thousands, well, I guarantee we'll have about a thousand an hour. People love hearing Snoop. They love this call is being recorded. I'm a motivational speaker. You're going to record this show you fucking want. I'm a motivational speaker. And I speak the real. Everything I talk about is truth. I'm not one of these dudes that be yapping out the mouth. I don't do that. I don't get down like that. Because true writers don't talk. But guess what? I'm going to go ahead and do this for a reason. Because the world needs to know. All this false propaganda be, be, being spoke on a plane, boy. All, all, this, all this nonsense. And you think I ain't gonna bust back? Come on now, playboy. I'm the fucking modern day Jesus Christ, man. And I sacrifice my life for my people. Everything I do is for my people. This is the way that we transpired for my people. Straight up. My movie does it for anything and everything. But you can't stop a motherfucker like me. You can't. You can't. Look at it right now. I want to fucking. I want. I want to. No. I want a no phone order. So what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Get that. Figure that. And I'm gonna tell you like this, man. You guys are gonna have the real, the real spill from the real deal. Compadre. And I'm telling you like don't this. Don't forget to tell yeah. him about your writer. Don't, don't forget to tell him about your epistle, 2018. Oh ooh, shit. Well, you want to that? 
Should we give him that? Let's give him that. Man, I wasn't even going to think about that, but look, I guess we're going to go ahead, since we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and present you with the writer epistle. It's called, it's called a missive, no, an epistle pertaining to the prosperity of the writer movement. It just came out in my trial as well. And it's a very deep manifesto that was provided to my people all throughout California, all throughout Oregon, all throughout U U Utah. My compas out there in Missouri, I send mine to my compas in Lazy. And here, right here, right now, we're going to provide you with the never-before-seen epistle. Nine-page epistle. Why is it nine? Because everything's nine. You look at my book, The Basic Fundamentals, there's nine chapters. You look at the compadre concepts and objectives, there's nine concepts. And I'm going to tell you why. Because that's only half the battle, Playboy. That's only half of the platform. It's up to you to demonstrate the rest. It's up to you to come with the other half. Nine plus nine equals 18. Just like the, just like the, the, the 18 dynamics. Come on, we, we, we go and provide them with the 18 dynamics as well. Want to do that? Want to do that? Absolutely. But as a matter of fact, Goldberg, this is we're talking. Goldberg, can you recite the 18? This call is being recorded. Absolutely. Can you recite the 18 dynamics? Absolutely, Goldberg. You want to wait? I thought, what? You, I thought you'd never ask, Goldberg. Goldberg, that way these people understand the essence of what it is that we push, play, play. This is real. You know, it's a trip. Some people think that, that, that this is a myth. There's some people that say, man, this guy is a myth. This guy ain't real, but here I am, Playboy. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to everyone. I'm speaking to the viewers. I'm speaking to society. So people already know the business up in here. So, compadre, uh -huh. to push forward with the yeah. with, with the AT dynamics, that would be the nine concepts in the CCOs, which is the compadres concepts and objectives. That's absolute writer law. <laughs> Absolute writer law, the way it's taught, and that's the way it should be held up to high standard, and we shall lead by way of example, teaching and preaching writer gospel throughout all platforms and throughout all these other states. The first one would be, compadre, you know, it starts with um, the acronym for writer, responsibility, economy, determination, idealism, and realism. The, ne the next four would be the four qualities, which is honor. Dignity, courage, and integrity. That's the first. Absolutely. That's the first nine. The next nine, nine. The next nine would be presented as said, starting with the embracement process. It shall Absolutely. be phase one. phase A and phase B. Phase A is giving acceptance. To an individual seeking, which means that not everybody can be a compadre. It's it's. We don't embrace snitches. Face. That's why motherfucking stranger was never a real compadre. We don't embrace snitches. That's yeah, why okay. Scrappy was never a real compadre. And niggas was imposters. So it's phase A. Straight up. It's the embracement process, which is phase A, which is the acceptance, and then upon the ninety-day trial, or however we seek that the individual be uh, suited to uh, join this honorable uh, rider movement, you know he'll be officially embraced. That's phase B. And then you and assign a mentor. And then and assign a mentor. Then you got presenting and introducing ourselves to colleagues. Then you got compadre conduct. Then you got responsibilities and expectations. And, mm -hmm. then, and then you got symbols and monikers. Mm -hmm. Who we are as writers. And presenting ourselves. And that covers all eighteen dynamics. Those that say they are as well as as well as oh, don't, don't don't forget deeds and convictions. Deeds and convictions. Don't forget deeds and convictions. We do not indulge in buster behavior. Oh yes, deeds there is no chain of command within our movement. There is no chain of command. We go side by side in all that we do, straight up, and all that we do. I want everybody to understand the essence of what we are. All my compadres, every single one of my compadres have leadership qualities. We go side by side. We keep, we create this writer wall of the resistance. That's what we do. We all out there. We're out here in L.A. We're out here in L.A. Don't nobody give us no problems out here. We out here conducting ourselves as compadres. 
We are all a part of the Compadre congregation. Every single one of us. We don't believe in individualism. You know, and I, and I, and I, and I tell you like this, now we come, every, we come forth with all that we do, man. But we do present individuality. There's a big difference between individualism and individuality. Individuality, what that does and what that suggests. This call is being recorded. Visuals. Every single one of us have a qualities that and dynamics that represent us as men. So I want people to understand the essence of that. Now I also will say that my cash app is capital R I D E R capital P R E Z eighteen. There is gonna be a financial there's gonna be a financial that goes with this. It ain't for free. I'm locked up. It's it's expensive in here. But we'll we'll work out, you know, those those, those uh, specifics when we can. I do want to let you guys know straight up, man. I do appreciate the fact that you're providing this platform for me to, you know, go ahead and, and speak this realism, speak this playboyism, you know. I see so many people that have a huge misconception regarding what it is that we are, what it is that we do. And here I am. I'm going to provide it. I'm going to provide it. Um, I want also people to understand the essence that you always hear my name. Anytime you Google Maurice Vasquez, anytime you hear Badass New, you all of a sudden everybody's interested. But it's important to me. It is so important for me to emphasize the fact that there are so many great men who have been instrumental in the development of where we are today. So many, so, so many people are focused on the history. And I understand the historic events are important. But to me, what's important is right now. What's important is what we're doing right now. What's important is where we're at right now. And I'll tell you right now, my success and my prosperity of my movement would not have been possible without my men, without Rowdy, without Bronco, without Cisco. You know what I'm saying? My true compadres that have sacrificed their lives without my compa Primo, without my compa Johnny Boy, without my compa Limited. Without my compa Sleepy. You know what I'm saying? My compa brothers. There's so many great men. There's so many great men. My compa Solo, my little brother. I love you, Playboy. I know you out there, and I love you. Straight up. This is what we do. My compa Mambo, my compa Drake. There's so many of us, Playboy. People always say my name. What about my men? Shout out to my people. I love you. My compa Cisco out there taking care of his wife, raising his beautiful daughters, doing what he's supposed to do as a compadre. He's not out there committing crimes. He's not out there snatching purses and breaking into cars and doing all that bum shit. Understand the truth, Playboy. You can't be no bum and a Playboy at the same time. Motherfucker, you're gonna put a B on this shit. You're gonna sound like I'm rapping, motherfucker. Straight the fuck up. This is why. It's that excitement. It's that enthusiasm that I speak. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's absolute. It's absolute, playboy. It's truth. It's truth. Knock your mama. There we go. There we go. Okay, playboy, that ain't it right there. I love you. I love you too, compadre. Okay, let me hear it. Don't stop it. Let me hear it.